hi guys how are you today i have this case for you it's a one piece roundhouse and uh, today i'm gonna make a very very simple build up i promise this time really simple so um i already did as you can see the uh, midline and the parallel line and the uh, directions of the teeth never ever start your work before you do this crosses and the directions because that, that's how your brain is gonna process the information better that you've been given in here i'm using today the same uh, smile line rspct brush number six that i showed you in previous video so for whatever shade i have here uh, shade a1 um, first applying opacious body this opacious dentine then apply some um, separator all right so now i'm gonna apply opacious body on uh, all of my neck areas just a thin layer i'm only applying the opacious body because i have a metal framework okay so after i apply the opacious on all the necks on the buckle and lingual and i also applied a little bit on the occlusion of my uh, posterior teeth i'm gonna take the same opacious and apply it on the edge of the crowns so if you are using a Vita system, then uh, you would need to apply uh, neck porcelain on the neck uh, and uh, luminary porcelain on uh, your edge of the crowns. And for Vita, you have to do it no matter what kind of uh, teeth you're building. If it's a metal frame, you have to apply neck and then the luminary. Otherwise, if you just build with the um, uh, dentin, then your work will come out gray because dentin is very, very translucent in Vita and uh, that's why your work can come out gray. Okay, so now I applied it on the uh, buckle side and uh, the same from the lingual side. Okay, all done. So next up is going to be dentin, regular dentin, which I'm going to start applying from my cuspid. And look, I already have the direction, right? So I'm going to start building my dentin according to the direction. And I mean, I did take this uh, work off the articulator, but it's just because it's impossible for me to hold the articulator and hold it next to camera but I will periodically try it on to see where I am don't build just on a model like this you have to try it and make sure that your bite is correct and uh, on the front teeth you can apply um, the dentine in the shape of the tooth buds so there are gonna be three of them on the front and uh, don't try to apply it perfectly it doesn't have to be perfect this is just um this is just the frame for your build up for your future build up okay and uh, the laterals are going to be only two tooth buds they don't have the third one they look like this all right okay so that's what it looks like right now and the same we're gonna build on the each front tooth two um, lobes that go over here so just glue your porcelain to the lingual side and then if i see that something is getting um, dry I just 
decorate with the distilled water. I know that it's a little messy, but it's uh, the fastest and the easiest way for me to do that. Okay, now I'm gonna do the posteriors. I'm not gonna build any kind of um, occlusion on them yet, it's just the dentin. When you're applying dentin though, you have to watch your directions and uh, the height of contour, which is the bump. It has to be on all the teeth on the same level. And the directions has to be all the same directions. Okay guys, now after applying all my uh, dentin, I'm trying it on the articulator to see how my uh, bite is. I need to raise bite a little bit on the last molar. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my um, uh, clear porcelain. It's this, it looks like glass. But not quite. You see, it's kind of like cloudy glass thing. If you are using Vita, I said uh, before that uh, Windows would be it. I think is more like T1. You see, it's cloudy. You can see through it. This one, T1. Okay. So what I did, I just took uh, my uh, clear fluorescent and uh, i'm gonna apply it like i said it's it's the easy way to build right so i'm gonna just apply it everywhere in here like on all my edges like this right and uh, on my mesial and the distal I know that I apply a lot, but it is because I have a lot of space. Okay, same thing with the laterals. Alright, and I'm gonna do the same thing with uh, each uh, crown that I have over here. Okay, that's what it looks like after I applied all my clear. As you can see, I applied it almost everywhere. Now I wanted to show you, I am gonna apply it also in the back. So I enveloped those uh, tooth buds that I built out of uh, dentin into the clear porcelain, clear fluorescent. So if you don't have uh, clear, you only have like super clear window or something like that, you can just mix it with some of your enamel or with the, a very like, you know, maybe enamel like 70% uh, clear, 30% enamel or if you have fluorescent dentin, then do 10% fluorescent dentin and then 90% clear. All right. So now I'm gonna finally uh, build the enamel. Okay, so I mixed 10% uh, of uh, dentin into the enamel and I'm gonna do my final shape. First, don't apply like really a lot of it and you're gonna apply the first lobe first like this and then the distal lobe you're gonna apply right after that like this don't forget to control your moisture so the distal lobe is gonna go this way out and then in this person is a ma male the patient so i'm gonna do like the shape of a uh, male t Alright, so a lobe and then another lobe over here and then just the edge, we're going to skip the center, okay, or maybe I'll put a little bit in the center like that. So that's the shape at this point and I'm going to do, go ahead and do the shape on the other teeth. 
And then um, in the back, also the two lobes over here. One little bump over here. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do it to the rest of the teeth and I'll see you very soon. Okay guys, so finally I scratched it. That is what it looks like and uh, I have like small cracks, still cannot get rid of cracks in this case. I don't know, I think it's because there's so much porcelain on it. So in the small cracks I'm just gonna put a little bit of my uh, dentin, regular dentin, like you see. They're mostly between teeth. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and brush it off. Just off the front of the teeth. And uh, now I'm gonna glaze it. I'm gonna take my glaze in sink. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply it. Um, pretty generous layer. Okay, so that's the bridge after the base application. Let's see the shade. Okay. I think the shade is very good. So I'm probably not gonna do anything else. Maybe I'm just gonna do like small characterization like here and there. Okay, and then maybe a little bit of... Um, my uh, occlusal shade just in between for the crowns and a little bit in here so let's glaze and i'll see you after glaze okay guys this is the case after glaze that's what it looks like i think came out pretty good that's the lingual side and that's the buckle side Let me know in the comments what you think and um, invite. So that's what it looks like on the model. Give this video a like if you enjoyed watching it and subscribe for more. And I'm gonna see you very very soon. Bye bye.